I love to eat burgers and drink beer. So they say if you're going to work a lot, you might as well do something you really love. And for me, that was burgers and beer. I wanted to do something with my hands. That was really important to me to make sure that whatever it is that, uh, whether you love it or hate it, at least it's something that I had a, a part in making and, and creating. And that means if you came to my house, I'm gonna serve you the same pasture-raised beef or sustainably raised chicken or whatever it is that we are cooking for Sunday dinner. Uh, if you go to my restaurant, I wanna be able to eat there with the same values that I eat at home. And that means the people come in, I wanna treat them like my house guests as well. For me, it was a very easy thought process. That meant cows on grass, no hormone, no antibiotic. And I'm, I'm often quoted, and it is true, I will close this restaurant before I will serve corn-fed beef. Um, I really believe passionately in supporting the farmers. I wanted to create something that was local, done as sustainably as possible. So we try to do as many things as we can on a daily basis. If we have a choice between supporting a local farmer or getting it from a, a local region or U.S., we'll always pick local, as local as we can first. We brew over 50 different um, unique recipes, and that's a very challenging program for a brew pub especially. You're working with many different yeasts in a small environment, and uh, you really have to be spot on with your brewing. And if you look at our seven core values listed on the website, one of those values is to brew beer that is world-class, authentic, and true to style in an environmentally sustainable manner. When we um, come in in the morning, uh, first thing is getting dough going, right, because we bake bread every day. That starts at 7 a.m. We've got to have it ready for lunch. Um, grinding meat begins right away. All the beef comes in fresh. It's all North Carolina farmers. Uh, we get what are called primal cuts. These are the big cuts. The butchers come in, start trimming them down and cleaning them up and getting grinding them beef for the day. Uh, brewing starts at 6.30 in the morning. We usually brew twice a week. When the produce does come in, it is inspected. We look at the boxes. We want to make sure that if we said, hey, it's got to be a North Carolina farm. Does it? Did they send the right cucumber? Did they send the right pepper? Whatever it is. To start Bull City Burger, it was about really walking the walk and talking the talk, what I preach and teach my children at home. And I thought, if I'm going to open a restaurant, I would want to treat the people who come into the restaurant as if they were my guests coming to my own home.